everything you saw here was devastation. There was nothing in Puerto Rico. There was no access to the roads, there was no communication, no food, no water. So many people that lost everything. Nobody would be able to speak about the problem because they were just like having PTSD. El tiempo de Huracán María, ahí fue mi, como decimos aquí en Puerto Rico, la gota que derramó la, 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 que derramó la copa. Sí, porque ya ahí, pues, se agravantaron muchas cosas en casa, pues, sin luz, este, sin agua. Many people here in this community lost their jobs because many of them had small businesses or were working in small businesses which had to close. There were more suicides, uh, people in depression. They lost their income, their employment, their, their family. Who is left behind? The fragile, the vulnerable, the people that are alone. And loneliness for me, loneliness is the most powerful epidemic in our country, the most powerful disease. Do you live in poverty and you lost your house, you have your family, I don't have money, I don't have water, I don't have food. Believe me, the levels of stress begins to up and up and up and you have, you need a escape up to deal with this situation. We, we have this experience with a lot of participants that they are abstinent from the drug use. And after Maria, they have relapsed in the substance use. And that create an increase in risk to overdose. Because you have people that have a long period abstinence of, of substance use, and that they don't have tolerance. What used to be a pure drug is no longer that it's mixed and it makes it even harder for uh, the people to to ask for rehabilitation to stop using and it's because of the fentanyl and, and uh, the mixtures that they're making in the heroin and and in the cocaine and everything you know bueno, fentanyl Phew. Te duerme, te hace ir por más y más y más y más y quieres más y quieres más y quieres más. So, teniendo a mis niñas y mi esposa, toqué fondo. O sea, el... Sí, siempre estaba bien vestido, sí, siempre esto, aquello, lo otro, pero estaba ya sumido, o sea, ya estaba acabado se mezcla, pero lo que ajustan esas mezclas matan un montón de gente, porque ellos en sí no saben qué tan fuerte viene enfrentándolo. Entonces nos usan de conejillo de India, ellos dan pruebas para ver cómo va quedando. Entonces en esas pruebas está la de que le decimos la ruleta rusa. You can imagine we have an account of uh, 180,000 people using drugs in Puerto Rico. That's the amount. And 60% of them, are, they use drug by needle, and that's opiate, uh, that's heroin. So it's, it's, a, it's a, an epidemic of uh, people dying. This is a very dangerous place. And this is a drug dealing point. That corner uh, behind us, uh, we, we call it a uh, walking dead corner because all the people that come to our service are so sick. We started doing the research and the analysis of it all and trying to understand the need and understand how we can develop a program where we touch from the prevention side of it to the detox homes, to the children that are being impacted by parents that are addicted, 
to the naloxone distribution, to needle exchange programs, and see how we can create and form and invite groups of people that have been working on this issue and create kind of like a platform. Working in the streets should be a strategy that uh, mix compassion, love, which is not re related to any medical book, social justice, and medicine. Naloxone is an antagonist of opioids. When the naloxone came in the, the brain, they take out the opioids from the receptors, okay, in the neurons, and then um, reverts the overdose, reverts the effect of the opioid that's oversaturation in the receptors. We have to give naloxone to the people who use opioids because, well, I don't want him or her to die. So I have, I have to give uh, the, the naloxone and offer treatment. In many moments that a person goes to an OD and comes back with naloxone, that's a catharsis. And, uh, and that's a turning point for many people to rethink about detox and treatment. Cuando uno usa droga, uno deja de ser la persona que es una persona con una careta, aparentando, pero no eres tú. Y ahora yo soy yo, gracias a Dios, y los sentimientos afloran. Y le digo a la gente mía, querida, se lo digo en la cara, te quiero, te amo, y la abrazo. Y le doy los buenos días a todo el mundo, y me río, y me levanto contento, que antes no lo hacía, antes era al revés. Una cosa... <risa> brutal y gracias a este personal me ayudaron y de verdad es como te dije ahorita esto son ángeles para mí son ángeles tú me entiendes porque wow supieron sal sacarme del infierno y llevarme al cielo for me I have to be honest it was a little bit hard at the beginning to understand the process and to understand the the problem of the opioid crisis but now, after listening to Dr. Roman and Chaco and all these, you know, people that are just working in the field, it could happen to anybody. People in the streets are the son and the daughter of, of somebody. Somebody in a house is crying for that person. Somebody in that, in that home is waiting for the moment that this miracle turn back this person that, it in the, that is in hell. So it is important to humanize this mission. <laughs>